Well, under the La Liga rules, uh, you are set a budget which is determined by your expected revenues, less overheads, less your committed payments in terms of repayment of debt over the, the next 12 months. Barcelona, for the past few years, have been run very poorly financially, and they, they're estimated to be making losses of around about six to seven hundred million dollars for 2020-21. So when that's factored into the budget for the forthcoming season, it meant that there had to be a substantial wage reduction uh, for, for the club to be within the 70% the of, of wage to revenue target. Um, and this meant that uh, contracts could not be renewed and new players, uh, whilst, whilst they are being signed in theory, uh, I think Barcelona will actually struggle to agree to pay those wages. Now, some had hoped or thought there could be some workaround given how important Messi is to uh, Barcelona or certainly was to Barcelona and the, the overall league. Is it a surprise that they weren't able to find a way to keep him? Well, I think Barcelona were confident that they'd be given an exception, given that to, to many people, Lionel Messi is the face of La Liga, and also taking into consideration the, the CVC uh, private equity deal, that they felt that, uh, that Messi would have helped to, to sell that um, and, and to generate the additional revenues, which they're hoping to, uh, to, to be able to create on, on the back of this deal. But La Liga uh, and Spanish politics in terms of football uh, can be very, very strange. Um, and I, I think there's also some overhang here from Barcelona's continued involvement with Super League. So therefore, La Liga were not willing to, to have any concessions. Interesting. A lot of complexities. I mean, what does this all mean for the, the lawsuits now? I mean, you, you just mentioned it there. We, we, we read into you talking about this um, move from La Liga uh, announcing this 2.7 billion euro deal with CVC partners and now the legal action that Real Madrid is taking against them for it. Uh, how do you see it all playing out? Well, uh, Real Madrid are very keen on lawsuits. They've they've had lawsuits in, in addition in respect of Super League. Um, they feel that by giving 10% of, uh, of La Liga to, to CVC for, for this value, um, it actually underprices the value of the product as a whole. And therefore, they don't want to be seen to be giving away any future revenues as far as they're concerned. There has been talk that the, the deal could be for as long as 50 years. So it, it's... Uh, whilst it's a significant sum of money up front and uh, Real Madrid potentially were going to be in receipt of somewhere between 250 to 300 million euros, uh, Real feel that uh, they could more than recoup that over a longer period of time and therefore that's why they're pushing back against the deal for, at which they had relatively little discussion and involvement. Well, well um, thinking about uh, the future now of Messi going to um, uh, Paris Saint-Germain, many are talking about, uh, in France anyway, the potential that this carries for uh, France's Ligue 1, which has been struggling financially. Uh, to what extent do you think that Messi's arrival could um, improve the financial situation of, uh, of Ligue 1 as a whole? I think it will make a marginal difference. Certainly, there will be a lot of initial press interest and uh, potential people will be watching to, to see how he fares uh, at PSG because they have become effectively a Galactico team in their own right. Having said that, uh, French football is not particularly challenging. Uh, in the sense that uh, PSG are so successful that the other clubs struggle to, f to, to put up realistic competition for them. So uh, in terms of the, the broadcast deal, uh, and, and, and French football has suffered as a result of the collapse of the deal with, with, uh, with the companies that, that were in charge last year, I don't think it's going to make a significant amount of money. It's certainly going to help uh, Paris Saint-Germain, though. Uh, they put 150,000 shirts on sale on their website last night at 10 p.m., uh, UK time, and they'd sold out within seven minutes. So there's certainly opportunities from uh, co commercialising and monetizing the Messi name, and that will have allowed the club to, to have funded his salary.